Welcome to the Lizardman Show. Title of the video today is Shooting Down UFOs Like Those. And it's so annoying. I hate it. So I look for other ways of doing this crap. Why is it so hard? Why is it so hard? And the sad part is, you have to do this in zombies and space land. So if you die in playing the arcade in the afterlife, it won't work. You will not earn anything. You will get nothing out of this. So don't try to attempt it. Don't try it. You're just wasting your time. You have to do this at zombies in Spaceland. So, I'm going to show you some tips of how to do this. And the first thing is, do not use any of these colored guns. The red one, the yellow one, and especially the blue one. Use the green one. I'm going to tell you why. And you will get nothing out of afterlife. Just to let you know. So. I got the green gun. I was playing with it. I was trying to shoot the UFO. I missed. I shoot the other aliens. Playing around. And then it just happened out of the blue it just happened like wow I finally figure out a right spot to do it and this is the only way I could do it it's right here in this position the green gun pointing right next to the clown on top and just keep firing that position and you will always hit that UFO once you hit that UFO then you just gotta work your way up to how many UFOs you gotta take down me it was 20 it could go up to 40 or 60 maybe who knows but it doesn't matter now because I figured out the way of doing it. So use this tactic, what I'm doing. So it'll be easier for you to do it when you get to zombie in space land. Once all that is done, then you get the bounty. Now it's time to go back to zombies in space land. Once you go back, you gotta go to Kepler's area. And then you gotta go look for the IT and Hunter. Once you get there, and once you start using the green gun, like I told you, remember that position with the gun on top and the clown underneath, then you can get that UFO down. And you will never fail on this. Never. And if you do, try it again. Keep trying and over and over until that bounty is done. You feel me? See? Easy. Anyone can do this. Even a caveman can do it. Another thing. That machine will be out of order. In order to get that cleared, you got to destroy all the zombies and get to the next scene and do this. And that's why this challenge is so... Damn annoying. Another thing, only take you 30 seconds to finish this. So that is a while. So make sure that you really, really make sure that no zombies ready to get on. Because once they creep on you, getting on your butt, your aim will start slacking, suck. You won't even, <laughs> you won't even try to get that UFO. 
zombies going to start hurting you. So this is my tactics of way of doing. You see, you see that? You see that slow ass zombie? Exactly. That's what you gotta do. Whip all those zombies that's going fast, and just leave the slow one, the slow one, like my voice, slow, s slow ones for last. You go right back to Kepler. You go right back to the green gun, you point right on top of the cloud, and you start getting that UFO down, kid. And once you do that, yo, man, this bounty will be flying colors, kid. You will be getting whatever, whatever keys or whatever salvage you want, it'll be already right here. Don't forget your boy Hoffman. If you get Hoffman in the game, kid, yo, man, zombies won't be touching you. Because Hoffman blasting them off while you blasting that UFO off. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you get those sitcoms, kid. Get Hoffman out in them field and do your thing. And oh, yeah, another thing. Do this solo. Don't do this with the team because they're gonna screw it up do this solo you feel me so that's all I have to say just rinse and repeat kid just rinse and repeat you finish this off you can move on play whatever get the other challenge done whatever and that's it thank you for watching my video make sure you subscribe what you thought I was human get out of here Listen, man.